and welcome back. My next guest tonight is a three-time Super Bowl champion from the New England Patriots and the Super Bowl 53 MVP. He's the subject of a new documentary called 100% Julian Edelman. Please welcome to The Late Show, Julian Edelman. Welcome to the show. As I was saying to you backstage, I, you, you, he walked right by me downstairs before I came up here, and I didn't recognize you without the big caveman beard on. Yeah, I mean, I, I saw you getting ready for pregame, so yeah. usually when I'm, I'm getting ready for a game. I how, kinda... do you, how do you get psyched up? What do you do to get geared up for the game? You know what? I, I, I go over my game plan. I like a little alone time. Um, and then also I throw in a little chill music, and uh, we go to town. Wait, you ch you chill before the game? You I like to music? chill. I like to keep my heart rate down. Because really? Because it's so exhausting during the game. What's the, what's the chill music? Do you play a little Wyndham Hill Christmas or something like that? <laughs> what, what a little John Denver. Oh, yeah. little Jill Denver? Oh, John sure, Denver sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Um, hey, it's good to be back home again. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, How's listen, uh, you know, a, th a three-time Super Bowl champ and Super Bowl 53 MVP, do you mind if I just yang out here? We got, we got back here, we got a very heavy satchel. That's, that's a satchel. There's the hardware. May, may I open it for the people right you, here? You may. There you go. Hold on. One. There we go. <laughs> One. There you go. All right, is that, am I doing that the right no, way? No, you're right there. We'll go that way. That, that way? Is that, no, that's And then we'll go like that. that. Right there. <laughs> There we go. Wow. May I? May I? Yeah, 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 you may. I could, I could wear these around my neck. <laughs> look at that, look at that. We could, do, you, do you need to go to the gym or you just curl with these on? <laughs> that is fantastic. Do you have a favorite? Do you have a favorite of these three? Yeah. Have, that, like, like there? The next one. Okay. Call QVC right now. <laughs> we only have three of these left. Let's make them a deal, Jules. Let's make them a deal right now. What's your fave? Uh, the next one. All right. I'm just going to leave those right there for, ju for just a moment. And I think, do I have that on right? I have that right? I think this one. Oh. Right. Sorry, it's mine now. So, whoa, where do you keep them? Uh, I, I, I got a couple uh, secret stashes, pretty much Fort Knox. Uh, sure. Couple sharks, lasers on the heads. It's um, like Doctor Knows, you know, Island. Exactly, like Doctor Knows Island. Now we had uh, here. Here are you, and uh, Tom Brady, after winning the last Super Bowl, <laughs> right there. We almost made out there. What? We almost made out. Go for it. <laughs> Go for it. Okay, set an example. Now, what's the first time? What's the first time you met this cat? Uh, the first time I met him um, was my rookie year, 2009. We just came in after rookie mini camps. And when you're a rookie, you're carrying around, back in that day, 10 years ago, you'd have a six inch binder. Now everything's on iPads, but you'd run around with a six inch binder, get to meetings 10 minutes early. Guys are strolling in, you know, the veterans 30 seconds before, like, you know, they know what's going on, but when you're a rookie, you don't know. And I'm going into a meeting, and right in the doorway, Tom hits, like, runs into me and he goes, hey, I'm Tom. And I like almost dropped my book. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, hey, uh, ni ni nice to meet you, Tom. <laughs> uh, I'm Jules. And uh, he goes, hey, I've heard a lot about you. Excited to have you on the team. And uh, you know, it, it, was, uh, it was definitely a frightening experience for me. How old were you when he had his first season in the NFL? I think I was in uh, eighth grade. Uh, Probably seventh grade. So you spent your teenage years looking up to this guy, I'm guessing. I mean, we grew up eight miles away from each other. He's always had that underdog story. He's always had to gnaw and scratch for what he wanted, got. And, um, you know, I was always a huge fan of him. I was always pulling for him. I was a Tom guy. I was... Well, you have an interesting way of motivating him. We, we have a, a clip here, and I want you to explain why this is motivating him. Go. Nice ball. Nice ball. Nice baby. Thanks, baby. You're too old. You're too old.
Was it was it your idea or his idea to have you scream you're too effing old at him <laughs> in the middle of a game? You know, Steve, I, I black out sometimes. I don't, even, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying out there. Well, we need some motivation around here sometimes. What are the, some of the things that you yell on your team to get everybody motivated up? Like, what would you yell, what would you yell, yell at me? You know what? Uh, we're in the let's go era. Uh, you know, and it can be used in so many different contexts. Let's go. Let's go. When do you yell, yet, let's go on the field? I mean, after a, a, a bad play, there can be a, let's go! After a good play? Let's go. Let's, <laughs> let's go. What about there's been, there's been no play and the game hasn't even started? You're sitting there, sitting next to your guy, and you guys look at each other. Let's go. <laughs> let's oh, it go. does it all. It does it all. I mean, it's... it's yeah. It's a great word. Two Can words. You, let's, try an, let's try an acting exercise right now. Let's Can try. you say, let's go, like you're saying, I love you? Let's go. Wow. <laughs> I gotta say. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm putting these away for fear. Now, a, a lot of uh, players, uh, thank God, after winning a game or yeah. scoring a touchdown. I know that uh, you were raised Jewish and you, and you, 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 yeah. still, you, still, uh, you still are Jewish? I, <laughs> I wasn't raised Jewish. I, I kind of, you know, went back and, and tried to see where my heritage and see where my family was from. And, and I discovered Judaism probably, you know, 14, 15, just kind of see where my grandfather came from. And you know, learn the stories of the Jews and, and the adversity they've always had to overcome and, and the underdogs that they were. And it, and it related to my story my whole life up to that point and continuing. Uh, and it just it connected me with it. And, and you know, yeah, I, I like to practice it a little bit now. Is, uh... Do you think God... Do you think God makes choices in who wins football games? I don't know. He seems to like the Patriots. I mean, I always fast for Yom Kippur. <laughs> not only that, not only that, but there's there's a there's a little shop on on your on your website, and uh, this is the only item that's sold out on your website, and it's the uh, JE11 Kippa, <laughs> and and we we uh, you know we don't actually. Um, sell them on our website, but we... Coming to a bar mitzvah near you. We, 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 we had a, a, a late show, Kipa, made for you right there. <laughs> and I hope you will accept this. I appreciate it. Accept this on behalf Thank of you. the entire... <laughs> Nicely done. Nicely done. <laughs> I need a pen. That's a first. That's a first. 100% Julian Edelman premieres this Friday on Showtime. Julian Edelman, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs>